Hi everyone, welcome to the Infinity ASMR channel. This is my very first video and today I'm going to show you what's inside this makeup bag right here. This is my daily makeup bag and it includes a lot of the items that I use every day or on a regular basis to do my skincare and makeup for work or just um, so everything is inside of this Estee Lauder makeup bag that I received as a freebie. And it's quite a handy, waterproof, easy to wash bag, which I really love. And I ended up using it quite a lot, even though I received it as a freebie. But if I excuse this nail right here, I did lose half of it right before filming the video. So if we get started, um, truth be told, not all of the items I'm going to show you fit into this makeup bag because it is quite small. So I'll get started with a few of my favorite go-to items. Um, this one is a tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier and it's almost completely out. And I keep purchasing it because I really, really love it. Um, this is the tinted moisturizer oil-free formula with SPF 20 and it's really good because it has quite a sheer coverage and you're able to just put it on your face on those days when you don't really need a lot of makeup or you don't want to wear a lot of makeup. It smells really um, gently, it smells clean and it's not a sweet or overpowering smell which I really love these tiny tiny sparkles on the bottle as well and this is something that I wear on days when my skin is really good and I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup like today. Um, one thing I usually pair with it as well is this Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Radiant Glow Concealer from Rimmel and um, this concealer is very inexpensive it's something that I started buying after I previously tried other different concealers from other brands. It doesn't smell like much. And the reason I changed this concealer is because I realized I wasn't using that much concealer anymore um, after my skin cleared up. And so I wanted something that I could just wear on a daily basis and not break the bank. Um, here is my Superficialist by Una Brennan Night Cream. It's called uh, Probiotic Overnight Skin Recovery Cream. It's something that I purchased quite recently, maybe a couple of months ago, when, because I'm trying to change my skincare routine to products that contain more natural ingredients and this is something that I saw was quite recommended by different um, YouTubers. And I spent a lot of my time watching makeup and skincare videos so I wanted to give this one a try and it's just available in the drugstore here in the UK. Um, speaking of the things available in drugstores, this is not one of them. Um, this is the primer from Honest Beauty. It's kind of beginning to be a little bit, um, it's, it's losing some of the color here. It's called the Everything Primer Luminous Base, and it is an absolutely amazing product that's not available in the UK. I had to have a friend bring it over for me from the US. Um, this is by The Honest Company, which is Jessica Alba's company. They began by having um, household products and cleaning products, and then they switched, or they've added a line of skincare and makeup as well called Honest Beauty just um, very recently. This is an absolutely incredible product. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but when you put some of it in your skin, it has um, a really amazing um, kind of sheer color. 
it's almost like a serum in a way and I, I don't think the camera is picking this up but it has an incredible um, glow or sheen that it adds to your skin I think you can sort of see it a little bit over in this area and it makes your skin look absolutely stunning and so so beautiful and it has this really um, gentle clean almost um, plant-based scent that just scents, smells so luxurious and natural I know it's uh, things that they add to the product to make it smell like that and it's not supposed to actually represent what's in it but it really works for me um, I love it so much that I actually bought two and it really illuminates your skin it has hydro hydrolonic acid I think that's how you say it um, and it also minimizes your pores and has some skincare benefits too I would say this is one of my favorite products that I ever purchased for my skin and every time I wear it everybody tells me that it looks really nice which is a bonus um, the next thing I'm going to show you are some facial wipes these are by Ole Hen Henriksen I think that's how you say it and these are the brightening vitamin C um, cleansing wipes I got these in uh, Birch Box on Birch Box is a subscription box you can get for makeup and skincare products and I don't really use facial wipes that much on a daily basis I take my, my makeup off with facial oil but I like these uh, to be around in my bag or my purse just on days when it's quite warm or um, I might want to just freshen up and they have an incredible scent um, they do smell almost a bit too sweet for me but it smells quite fruity and lovely and it really matches the color of the packaging if you can imagine that I have heard that it's not recommended to use facial wipes to remove makeup just as its own step without anything else because um, they do tend to rub in some of the dirt and maybe they're not the best way to take makeup off so I've been avoiding that and also for environmental purposes but uh, I know a lot of people love them quite a lot so if you're one of those people you should think about giving this a try also, um, um, Ole, Ole Henriksen makes other uh, really amazing products like their serum, which I've decided not to splurge on, but I have tried again from a beauty box. Speaking of beauty boxes, I'm about to try a new one that's all organic natural products, so I'm definitely going to share that with you when that arrives. The next product I'm going to show you is one that I purchased when I ran out of foundation and I haven't been a huge fan of it and it's the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour matte infallible foundation in vanilla um, it's an inexpensive foundation for, for what it is which is good and that's the reason why I bought it but I have to say um, I haven't been too impressed with it I have combination skin and I find that in the areas of my skin where I'm not too oily it tends to look a little bit too matte like it looks um, it doesn't really blend into my skin as much as I like it to and it sort of looks like I'm wearing foundation I also tend um, seem to have bought the wrong color so it's a little bit too dark for me um, which is a shame I don't know if you can tell but my, my hand is now it looks pretty dry and you can really see it on any detail on your skin too so it sort of looks unnatural and dry I'm not a huge fan of it but I do wear it because I don't like to waste products and it's not the worst it's just not my favorite so I don't wear it on days when I want to look extra nice but it's okay for every day um, this product is the Benefit Dallas bronzer and this is a product that I have used up a lot of and it 
that's the second one that I have as well so you can see that I've used almost all of it and it comes with this tiny tiny brush that just fits inside of the box and this is great for um, people like me who have quite fair skin because I, I don't know if you can see right here but it's quite a subtle effect it doesn't really make a gigantic difference to the skin so if you put it on yourself it doesn't really look orange or unnatural I don't know why I'm applying bronzer on your forehead just thought I'd give it a shot <laughs> I really love these guys movements in the ASMR videos so I find them quite relaxing but I do notice that when I watch them I always think why is this person applying products to the strangest places on my skin <laughs> but perhaps today you'd like your forehead to be more brown more tan everybody's going on holidays so you have to keep up right speaking of brushes I've been using less and less brushes because I use the beauty blender I didn't bring with me today because it needs a bit of a clean but here are three brushes that I use on a daily basis one of them is from MAC and two of them are from a company called Lavish that does um, more natural um, brush sets and I picked these up at TK Maxx which is the UK's version of TJ Maxx um, this brush is just a very simple brush for your eyebrows and I use this to brush my eyebrows and make sure they're tidy and straight in the morning this brush is what I use to fill in my eyebrows or to do um, the line underneath my eye as well so if I do any eyeshadow on my lower lash line this is what I use because it's angled and it's quite um, it's quite good for that and then um, the third brush that I use quite a lot is this number 224 brush, blending brush by MAC and what this brush is good for is for blending any kind of harsh lines that you might have so if you're applying eyeshadow you can blend a couple of eyeshadows together or if you want to contour your nose and blend that out you can use it as well and I like it a lot, I get quite lazy and I just use it to apply eyeshadow in the first place instead of um, applying it with a different brush just apply it with my fingers or I just dab some of it on like this and stipple it on and then I use circular motions or sweeping motions like this to blend it in and it works quite well, I think the more you blend the more natural your look gets so these are the three brushes that I use even though I own quite a few more brushes do a video on later on, let's see on to mascara so I used to be a huge fan of the Benefit their real mascara and I still have one small bottle of it left um, that I have from a beauty box and it's about to run out um, this mascara is amazing, it really does add a ton of volume and it really defines your lashes but it is a bit more expensive I've been trying to spend less money on makeup because I've been questioning whether that really represents where I want my hard earned cash to go even though I really love beauty products and <laughs> it's hard for me to stay away from that so I've been trying to replace it with this Maybelline Rocket Volume Express and all the mascaras I use are always um, waterproof because um, it's really important to me that they stick throughout the whole day I never reapply my makeup or touch up during the day this is a really black mascara and it has a harder, um, more defined wand as well I'm going to try to get that in focus um, it's got these spikes that make it really easy to separate your lashes if you do a bit of a zigzag motion and if you compare the two wands it's um it's not exactly the same but they have some similarities between them this one is a bit more chubby 
and it doesn't have these spikes at the end on the end which um, they're real quite known for and they're good to get your lower lashes or the sides of your lashes Some, I almost put the wrong one in the wrong mascara um, but what I did here uh, which was a really good tip is that if I had the full size of this I could keep the empty bottle and then take this brush and use it with a different kind of mascara so try that in the future. just bought my mom three of these, so I'm sure I can convince her to keep one. Okay, on to one of my absolute favorite products that I repurchased again and again in the last eight years since it came out. And this is an eyeshadow by Bare Minerals called Celestine. Celestine. It's rubbed off as well because I use it so much. It just comes in a little pot like this. And it is an absolutely gorgeous color that um, has a bit of a shimmer to it and you can apply it in two ways you can either apply it straight on to your skin or you can add some water to it and when you apply it it actually becomes metallic and it kind of has a crackled crackled metallic effect it's absolutely stunning on the eye and I always get compliments when I wear it. If I wear just a little bit like this, I can pull it off during the day for just a luminous effect for my lashes and just some mascara and it looks beautiful. And I also love using it at night for a bit of a smoky eye with some darker eyeshadow um, and mix it in with some water and it has an incredible effect. I would say that this is my all time favorite eyeshadow. Um, and one that I use almost every day. Um, speaking of eyes, um, once again, we're going with the theme of trying to save. So I used to be a huge Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner addict and I used to buy it all the time. And then I discovered this company called Collection. They sell here at Boots, which is like the Walgreens in the UK. And this thing costs about three, three or four pounds. Um, the Bobbi Brown eyeliner costs about 30 pounds. And I have to say the effects have been pretty similar. So it is a completely black, um, regular finish, uh, waterproof eyeliner. I've done a horrible job of showing you this. The wand is quite hard, so you, you can apply a very thin stroke or you can apply quite a thick stroke. It really depends how you apply it. I tend to apply it in small strokes and, and connect them in this way and you can do a wing as well if you get more of the product on. But the amazing thing about this product is you can see it dries almost immediately and then once it dries it's very, very smudge, pre smudge proof and waterproof as well. So this is me just rubbing my finger over it just a few seconds after, which is amazing. And there's nothing on my finger and I'm rubbing quite vigorously now, just a few seconds after applying it, which is amazing. So for the price of it, I don't know if they have some horrible chemicals in it that are going to make me lose my sight. But um, for now, I'm quite happy with it, and I'm also happy about the cost difference. Um, the other benefit of it is it's quite small, so it doesn't dry out as much as the Bobbi Brown gel liner I used to in the pot. Okay, a few more products left here. Again, uh, one that I got from Honest Beauty that I love is their truly thrilling cream blush and there's a lot of a lot of it here it comes in a pot with a mirror like this it's quite a big pot and this is the color I'll just watch it in my hand right here um, I'm applying quite a lot and you can see that it's very very pigmented it also blends very very well I just apply it to my whole hand <laughs> but what I usually do I dab just a little bit, dab a, little, a 
few dots on my cheek and then I apply it like this and just blend it in with a different finger and it can create a really natural look. Um, I sometimes also apply it with my beauty blender too. This is the only blush that I ever use. I'm really going to need to clean my hand after this. <laughs> and it has a small magnetic closure as well, which is really nice. I really love the packaging from Honest Beauty as well. I think it's really beautiful. In fact, let me clean my hand before continue because I'm going to make everything dirty with the blush. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the texture on my placemat. Interestingly enough, this is a really great example of how well they remove waterproof makeup. <laughs> I should have shown you this with just a regular um, paper towel or something similar so you could see that wa even water doesn't really move that eyeliner, but these wipes really do. It's quite dirty now. Okay, so let's dry my hands. fingers making a bit of a noise okay so let's continue now I want to show you something that is a huge staple for me and it is the bare minerals SPF 30 natural sunscreen for face and body now, if you're not familiar with bare minerals I did mention their eyeshadow before but it's a natural mineral based product line company that's been around for um, quite a long time now I think 12 years or so and they make more natural products I'm a huge fan of sunscreen and this is one of the only sunscreens I found that you can apply over your makeup the way that you use it um, is the sunscreen is located inside of this little container I wonder if I can take it out to show you Oh, this was a huge mistake. <laughs> Turns out that you should not do this. So, cautionary tale for everyone. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to get it all back in there. Um, so, there's quite a lot of product inside, which I didn't realize before filming this video. You learn everything every day. You learn something every day. So, um, well, you can definitely see how it applies <laughs> here in my hand. Um, the way that it works is it travels from the bottom section here of the container. And when you shake it, um, it actually travels down to the brush. So you take the brush out by twisting the bottle, which moves the container further in. Then you shake it like this, and it brings some of the powder to the end of the brush. As you can see, the brush used to be completely white, and you can see the product coming to the edge here. The brush used to be completely white, and now you can see the product having traveled to the tip of the brush, like so. And then you can use it to buff the sunscreen onto your skin. And the beautiful thing about it is you can use it as a mineral foundation, so just over your moisturizer. It blends really, really nicely. Or if you need to touch up throughout the day because you've been in the sun, you can apply more of it on top of your existing makeup. And it also works as a setting powder, which is amazing. The only downside is that it's only SPF 30 like to use even higher SPF, but it just means that I apply it more throughout the day, and it's preservative-free and oil-free, and I really, really love it. I 
course you could see the mess I've made so this is just one example <laughs> which now there's kind of a rectangular shape in the rest of the powder where this bottle used to be so I'm definitely going to need to do some cleaning after this okay let's move on to the last part which are uh, products that I use for my lips and I brought two of my favorite lipsticks although I have quite a few lipsticks that I love. I love a bold lip. Both of these are bold lipsticks. They're from different companies. Um, one is from Bobbi Brown and one is from MAC. So the Bobbi Brown lipstick is a, a crayon. It's called Crayon Rouge Art Stick. And this one is Harlow Red. It's really just a pencil. It's quite a chunky pencil that you need to have a special um, pencil sharpener that comes with it in order to sharpen it when you need to um, expose more of the product. I'll just show you a swatch here. It's a beautiful creamy bluish red, very very bright color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. And I can apply a bit more as well. And I absolutely love this lipstick. The, the good thing about it is it's quite easy to apply because it's more firm and it allows you to trace the contour of your lip and apply it precisely to the edges of your lips to keep the shape of your lips, which is really, really but I'll actually take it off and I'll show you my other um, favorite lipstick right now. So I use a bit of a clean part of this wipe. It really does do a great job getting rid of product. And um, ooh, before I show you the other lipstick, let me show you something I always apply when I take off lipstick. Bobbi Brown Lip Balm in SPF 15. It's got a bit of rose in it. Just a simple lip balm that you can apply whenever. And I use it every morning when I do my makeup. I make sure I apply this first so my lips have a chance to um, soak up some moisture before I, I begin applying other things to my face. And then by the time I get to my lips, they're nice and prepped. The only thing I would say about this that I didn't realize when I bought it is that it does contain petroleum, so I'm not going to repurchase this again, but it does do a really great job moisturizing my lips. So, the other lipstick I wanted to show you is by MAC, and it's called Retro Matte Relentlessly Red. The interesting thing about it is that I wouldn't necessarily go ahead and call this a red color. I think it's more like a rich pink color. But it definitely is very much retro matte. And you can see I've used a lot of this product. So when you apply it to your lips, because I've just used the balm, it applies quite nicely. And I always use a, a lip balm before applying this because it is so matte that it can almost drag on your lips it can be quite drying as well. But when you apply it over a good balm, it does apply very, very nicely. And you can see if I swatch it on my hand here that it does drag quite a lot. And it, it does have quite a matte finish compared to this other lipstick here, which has a very creamy sheen to it. So they're, they're different, and you can see here that this one is a lot more pink and lighter. I think it has a bit of white in it, whereas this one is a very saturated red. So, removing that. Very last 
thing that I'll show you before I go is my favorite hairband. I think a lot of people use these right now. Um, I think they're pretty popular, but I always wear it on my hand, which is quite funny when I sleep on my arm and my wrist, um, because I get these little lines. But it's amazing because when you get it into your hair, it doesn't snag on your hair, and it also um, doesn't leave as much of a mark. So if I were to do a half a big tail right here, which is definitely not something I would do on a daily basis, you can see that it connects or it, it um, wraps around different sections of my hair. It kind of goes in and out of my hair. And the great thing about it is that it doesn't have the same um, line effect when you take it off so it doesn't um, create a dent in your hair which is great if you straighten your hair if you have straight hair like mine you don't look very silly after you take it off which is really nice um, so I definitely recommend getting these and I have them in clear and I have them in brown as well so these are all the products that I wanted to show you out of my makeup right here and um, these are products that I really recommend other than the ones that I've mentioned that I don't recommend um, thank you so much for listening please leave me comments with any feedback or advice on how to do a better job at relaxing you or